with uh, Shidoshi Luis Nogueira Serrano. Uh, precisely because after a festivity that we have with some very characteristics and ceremonials, I mean within the Shizen future ceremonial shoots with the bow, some Japanese masters that were invited actually came after to make some questions about uh, those differences probably so clear between the ceremony or the characteristic of those uh, shoots with the bow from Shizen culture to the normal Japanese one. And I remember actually two of them, a, a man and a woman, actually with a more age probably over their 60s, that were very, very interested on knowing those characteristics. So can you actually explain to all of us of course, yes. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Oh, this was a very, a very great uh, meeting because there were a very experienced masters on Kudo, and of course they were interested in the in the manners and in the characteristical uh, side of the festivities uh, sought with the with the Yumi. Of course, they appreciate. Um, important differences between their where to perform more linked to the to the uh, Sinto way and Kyudo uh, perspective and then especially but uh, what we have performed our uh, ceremonies for the days of the season then uh, these has special characteristics that they were amazed about because depending of the kind of the of the uh, of the festivity, you have to perform in one, one way or in the other, and we were discussing about this. Oh, that's great. So um, I believe that actually will be a very good point to start if we come back to the makimono. Of course. Because those are very uh, ancient characteristics from uh, Kyujutsu within Shizen culture. Yes, it's, uh, it's uh, interesting. Uh, it's interesting to start with uh, reading together the makimono. This is the Chuden uh, Bujutsu no So. Okay, it's about the the middle or the inner traditions of the Bujutsu in the Bujutsu uh, document. And we, we have, have here Bujutsu. we have Kyujutsu Ichiban Keiko. It's the first training. First of all, we have to study what is the Regi to Saho. That it's Kuro. the etiquette with the Yumi. And here it's appearing Regi no Karada, which is the etiquette of the body. Of the body. Okay. Right. After yeah. this we have Rensu no Yoi, that are the methods to develop these kind of ceremonies. Yurensu Kudosa. Yurensu Kudosa. And finally, that it's the part of the Hasa no Dosa, that it's the fire uh, method, the fire movements that uh, it's the way uh, you run Sokudosa too, that it's the way for war purpose because Kyujutsu in our tradition it's uh, divided into into two points. The first one is the sorts for festivities for this kind of uh, traditional. So they are actually uh, within the mythology and the mysticism yes. of that part of the culture. This was something that these masters uh, appreciate so 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 much because their richness of the of the of, uh, of the details regarding these mythologies it's so so particular. So I understand that actually precisely three of them yeah, were of course. received all tensions that are from some deities of uh, prosperity, other from um, everything that is novel. Yeah. It's, it's, it, in fact, we have uh, several, not only three, but for the main deities, we have the three principles, three main deities that, as you are uh, explaining, one of them is for war. War, that's, that's of course. What was, uh, when, when the season start a war, then they used to uh, perform this festivity in order to claim, to, to make, to claim protection and to make the, the war deity go to war, helping, aiding them by their side. Uh, by their side. That, 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 that's that's like the, every culture. The, every culture. Yeah, that's true. Right. Then after that, we have for the for the richness, for the noble side, okay, for the uh, for nobility, and it's a very very uh, detailed uh, sequence. 
okay and the last one that it's very linked to the bowl it's the daily prosperity. of the prosperity okay of the uh, of uh, making bringing all more strong uh, growing together and making prosperity it's survival, it's a yeah survival etc then depending on these deities they perform a different sequence of study different sequence of performing the thing. So like a different protocol. Yeah, different protocol. To sh just to shoot. Yeah, of course. Uh, the idea for, I think, if you think interesting, we could explain oh, to our followers the, great the main event. ideas in order to make the difference between uh, different deities and the way they used to perform this, this basic. Uh, and I understand, I understand also that there, there is a very specific direction to perform a protocol. Yeah. Yes, because uh, considering the place that the festivity will happen, you yeah. have different purpose and shooting protocol. Of, of course. It, the purpose of, uh, <coughs> of sorting uh, the bowl, it's not a purpose like in other festivities or in other ceremonies that you need to reach and um, the target. Uh, the target. In this case, not because they are more like an offering for for the deity. Then it's more important. Uh, first of all, uh, the this is something that the uh, kudo master were so interested because they uh, say me. Oh, it seems that you have a lot of respect for the priest. The priest is a priest of the ceremony that is making the direction, managing the ceremony and of course the uh, the, the bowman it's a serve it's someone that serves for the ceremony to so to that, that's very interesting because it's not the protagonist yeah it's not the you have you have the priest that conducts the, the festivity and the rituals and the bowman is just a one part it's one part of this festivity that it's the offering that's the offering for these uh, two this festivity to start and it's the main offering from the beginning, the starting point of the festivity. So I would love to actually have this opportunity to show the role that the bow develops on this and the difference. Okay? It would be very Let's interesting. Take Please. the lucky model from here. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. And we have both our bows here, okay, and then I will explain and you go. Uh, it's for the ideas. I have separated here two, two arrows because we have to understand firstly that some of these protocols use two arrows and some other use only one. Also that's very interesting because we have war shots with a lot of a lot of arrows. Of course, yes. because these war shots are the idea of Do making everything shoot. very fast and as many shots as you can to, to reach the target. And then we go to the mystic, mystic part and we have two or just one arrow. Or just one, that's just true. Just okay. Okay, so then let's go. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> the first uh, part is to, to start, of course, with the, with the arrows we will have in the right hand. Okay, at the same point of the yuga key, and we will have in the left hand we will have the bow. Okay, I will do only. I will start from the, that side in order to make sure. the shots I'm to that point. Here okay, and just observe. Of course. Then, first of all, we have the target at that point. But remember, the idea is not the target. The most important here is the center of the area. It will be the priest. Uh, making the oh sure, living. that's right. So there, the tray virtually will be the priest and the area of the city. Okay. So we are looking towards them. Yeah. And we going are, towards them. We are looking directly to the uh, directly to the to the priest. Then we need to do it very respectfully. This is why in 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 the protocols we have to perform several acts during the, the protocol. That we need to show respect, especially to the to the to the breast. Then, first of all, what we will do is New York. New York is the entry to the to the to the arena, okay? The arena that we will do the, the protocol. Then, first of all, 
we will have the arrows on my right hand and the bow on the left hand. The tsuru, the, the swing, uh, looking, looking, down. looking back, uh, looking down. The, that's true. Then, first of all, we will move in this, uh, in this way, so sliding. The first part of the foot that's first, that slightly round. round. Slightly round. Okay. One, follow the other. It's a yumi, and we uh, join, unite, but one right side forward a little because right now what we will do is to go both knees at the same time going to seiza position from here it's the only point the only the only step that we could bring the tip of the arrow to the ground so just point. yes just as we could touch. cross we could touch and right now this is the first bow we will make a bow not only for entering the, uh, the arena, but also uh, asking for permission to the press. We will stay on that position until the Timity. press will give you uh, conditions Timity. to enter. Okay. After this, we will need to do the following thing. We cannot remain in this position because having the, uh, the bow on the left hand will give conditions to prepare to and make a betrayal to the press or to whatever and maybe could be not... Um, I mean, it could be interpreted as an aggressive intention. Of course, and of, could take out the festivity down, is to say, the idea is to be respectful with the priest mainly, but also with the deity. Sure. Then, from this situation, in the most of the, uh, in the, most of, the uh, of these ceremonies, we will do the following thing. We will bring the bow upward to that point. Okay, okay? So I, will be, I will be careful with you, space. yeah, of course. And the right hand makes the grip on this point. And after this, we remain on that position. This makes that we have, on this circumstance, we don't offer uh, a threat. Actually, we are completely vulnerable. Yeah, of course. It's also an offering that having the ya, the arrows, and the bow on the same hands, I'm putting into this position of the breast. Then from this, what we will do is keeping the right foot forward, we will go up. At this point, and we will move until getting closer to the priest. When we look at the priest, we have the head down, we are not offering the same. So, we are in a very um, ser serval, serval position, yeah. I, serval I posture, uh, a serval attitude. Right now, the priest will give us conditions to start our ceremony. Then, uh, when we are in this position, it's for the war daily and the prosperity daily. Because for noble, it, it's not necessary. You could be walking by this way. Normally. Normally. Yes. Normally. Understand. The Kyudo masters ask about, they are used to uh, make halanui, is to say, to, to get bare of the waist, uh, until the waist, by one side. In some uh, of the noble daily uh, protocols they used to perform, but it's not necessary. And something that is very important is to take the sode and not put on the on the himo, to do it inside, inside hakama. The, yeah, inside hakama. This is a very important part. So here we have a very very important difference between now even then we come just like a normal protocol yes. for this deity then it's not changing yeah it's, it's to say from this point for example right now we have as i have explained before uh, two arrows but in the prosperity deity we will have only one okay i will explain after what's the meaning of this one arrow then performing the basic protocol having here Remember, we have the arrows and the bow in front of us. My left hand, it's uh, it's uh, going down to the to the to the waist to the to the legs. Here, we will take position 
giving our left side to the target. Okay? And keeping in this position. Right now, what we will do is we could knee down again in order to, to perform the uh, final part of the protocol or the way to put the arrow, etc. Then from here, we will move forward the ball in order to take with the and left the right hand. Position. So the right hand brings the bow to the left. Board. That's true, that's true. Right now, we help in order to reach that point, and right now, take the tsuru and put it into our sagittal plane on this point. This is all the moment that we could touch the, 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 the tip, the, the lower side of the bow, the ground. Right now, this is very important because we are holding the, the, the arrows in this way. But sometimes, for example, for uh, the war daily, we will do in different situations. Sometimes it's... And stand is a very characteristic way to, to hold the both yeah, arrows. Yeah, because in sometimes we will, uh, we will hold it at the same with the, with the bow, or one that it's the most characteristic is to have it. On this point, okay, that it's a part of that when when we chance when we Have swift arrows. The, the arrows, and the other one, it's on this side making this this uh, perpendicular See, line. And uh, this will be more close to your hand, or is just uh, the same? Yeah, you uh, the most uh, correct is in that point. In order to when you come here after this, you have, you have these conditions, and you could put it. Okay. Then remember, okay, not to to make uh, <coughs> confusion to our followers and viewers. We have this, and the first thing we will put both arrows in this point. Okay, we will move forward. Okay, and reach the first one. Reaches the first one. Right now, we will take out and bring to that point. Parallel to the first one. Move it forward and right now take it and go to that side. Okay? Sure. From here we will reach and of course we will perform. We are in the uh, in this in this part we need to we have finished the Jatsu guy that is the place in the arrows. And we need to make a that's uh, okay, so placing, yes. placing our, our feet properly. We In this case, okay. we will move the asibumi. We have this dosukuri, that is the uh, finding the balance. The balance of the, the balance. Yugamai, that is the, the, the preparing the position. And right now, uchiokosh, that is going up, lifting the, uh, the ball over ourselves. Right to this position, we cannot go to that point. Remember, we have to, to okay. hold. And know. the symbol no need? Yes. It, this is something that is very curious for the for the uh, judo masters, because they say, oh, but I have seen that you don't perform sambu no ni. Sambu no ni, it's, uh, it's not, it's a modern terminology. It's not something that we usually don't use for or learning because someone needs to open it's the first position it's the first position that you have to open uh, two by three parts two thirds of two the thirds of yeah that's true two thirds of the bow then we look only for making a, a okay. like a, a routine making but we need to, the system, one of the particularities is to open and go directly to the point. That okay? makes sense because then if it comes from an ancient times and that's good to... Of course. Because you cannot spend too much time on yeah. the two thirds of, of that's the That's true, that's true. Okay, I am holding again on that position and we are, remember, we are in the Uchiyo Koshi. From the first stop, we return to that position. And right now, let's go to the yuga mai. On the second shot. On the second shot. One of the particularities is that we always place the bow in our, in yeah. our 
in our hip, in our waist. Some people used to do it in this, but the right way for us is to do it okay. in that position. As I have explained, for the world baby, we throw two, uh, two arrows in order to make uh, like a sim symbolism of killing the enemy, of killing the ones that want us uh, bad things and also the ones that, in fact, our enemies and of course the people that want to betray us. Then these two arrows are for them. In second way, when we are talking about the two arrows of the noble deity, the richness deity, it's more like a precious ceremony in order to be appreciated for emperors, uh, princes. So the same as a more complex protocol. It's complex protocol that and we probably it's lower protocol. Uh, uh, that's true. And finally, the only the one arrow that is sought by by the by the bowman in the deity prosperity the, the, the prosperity deity uh, festivity, it's uh, with the aim of uh, making a um, higher shot that will reach will cover. Okay. I understand, so it's a long distance shot. It's a long, long distance, distance shot that the idea is to pass over all the festivity so arena. Cross the field that they were. Cross the field, that's right. And at arriving at the end, needs needs to, uh, to pierce the ground. Needs to. Uh, to okay, to, to achieve to, to and achieve, be yeah. completely, completely the ground. Line on the ground. Mm, some, uh, some people in the past used to say that uh, making a shot. Uh, in a vertical line, but that's not true. Well, we have to at least be 45 yeah, degrees of course, to achieve because, the longer distance. But, yeah. um, and and ex understand that precisely will give a perfection uh, touch, touching the ground in a very perfect angle. That's true, that's true. Then, for all these reasons and many others that we, will, uh, we have been discussing, this uh, fantastic master of Kyudo and uh, me, my master, Silas Jogan, uh, you etc. It was uh, uh, some of the details that we have on the basic on the basic steps to understand the thoughts performed in the festivities. Then I hope that this explanation have That's solved wonderful. you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And actually, I, I guess this give, gives everybody a pretty good idea about some differences. There are more, of course. There are some uh, very characteristic way of shooting. The bow actually also uh, related to the deities, and uh, of course the purpose uh, they, they want to reach. But um, anyway, at least we know more three kinds of uh, protocols that we can use on Kyujutsu study within Shizen culture, and that's the beauty, you know, having so many difference between uh, shooting a bow within the same small country. So I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll try to bring you more curiosities on those themes. Thank you.